hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will learn how to create order in shopify using node.js so let's get started and open the terminal i have a folder on the desktop create order and the first thing i will do i will type npm init space minus y and it will create a json file now i can install the required modules for this video i need two modules one is shopify api node and another one is dot env module so let's install them npm install shopify api node and dot env hit enter and it will take a couple of seconds and install these required modules once uh, these modules are installed create a new file over here and name it dot env and put your shopify credentials over here so we need shopify access token and shopify store url so i have already these two things please make sure you are not going to share these uh, credentials with anyone else because they can access your store easily with this access token and the url so keep them confidential i will delete them after this video this is just for the demo purpose so once you have these two variables create a new file and name it create order.js you can name it anything but in my case i will name it create order and now i will call these two modules and for that let me just copy and paste we need to require dot env dot config this is how we call the dot env module and then we have a shopify module over here now let's create the instance of shopify so we have a shopify is equal to new shopify instance and here we pass the object in the object we pass the shop name and then access token and shop name is coming from our dot env file which is process dot env and the shopify store the same same variable name we have saved here and then we have access token shopify underscore access token which is also saved in the dot env file next we are going to create a function so let's uh, create a function and name it const create this function let me just copy and paste the code so we can save the type so this is the function to create order this is a sync function and try catch block in catch block we are catching the error and we will console dot error that to that error in the console and in the try block we have a function const order await shopify dot order dot create function in that function we have passed some values to create the order we need line items in the line item we need a variant id you can fit you can get the variant id from your store and you can go to the products you can click on any of the product in my case i chose this product and if you type dot json over here you will see the json and from here you can get the variant id because whenever we we add 
order into Shopify, our variant ID goes there, not the product ID. So I need the variant ID which I grabbed from my store. And I saved that over here, variant ID. Then we need the quantity, how many, how many variants you would like to buy. So in my case, I put the 100. Then customer ID, and this is the ID of my customer. And you can grow, grab that from the customers. And this is my customer ID. You can grab that from the URL. And next uh, we have a billing address. You can put your billing address. So in my case, I just put my name here and then address. This is the fake address just for the demo purpose and similarly we have a shipping address and then we we have a financial status and i am putting paid here because this is just a test order and once the order is created we will console log the response which is coming after creating the order so let's run this function so I will type create order and run this function, save this file and we just clear this and let me just open this terminal on the right side so you can see it better. Okay, now I will type node to run the file and then the file name and in my case, I have create order, create order.js, and I hit enter. And after a couple of seconds, as you notice, our order is created, and this is the response which we got from, from the Shopify after creating. This is the order ID, and then we have admin GraphQL ID, and all the data related to our order. Now, we go to the Shopify and we can go to the orders and you will see we have a new order and if I click on this order and you see we have the quantity 100 and this is the product we, we bought and all the data which we filled over there for creating the order is here. So that's it. This is how you can uh, create the orders from Node.js using the Shopify API. And if you like this video, please please uh, share it. And if you, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comment section. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.